My name is Kevin Mudenda. I am the volunteer program uh, manager for Plan My Gap here, Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town is, is very unique in many, many ways. Like if you look at, at other cities and whatever, you, you sort of get one thing in, in various cities and, and you sort of go to these cities for that one specific thing. Um, I think the thing that makes Cape Town so unique is um, the diversity. That's always the point that we come back to is the diversity, both in, um, you know, sort of race, color, culture, religion, everything, you know, the, the people. Um, also, besides the people, it's the, the setting that we've got in Cape Town. You know, you've got a bit of everything. When you arrive on your, your flight, we've basically got somebody waiting at the airport for you. From there, you're transported to our volunteer house. Um, that's where you'll be given a little introduction by our hostel manager. And then from there on, uh, we've got our orientation day the very next day or the first Monday after you arrive. At the orientation day, we go through just the do's and don'ts while you're here. We touch on, you know, safety aspects, security aspects. Um, we touch on, you know, your projects, that sort of thing. So basically just the overall sort of um, run through of everything in Cape Town. And then on the Tuesday morning, you start at your project. We are actually at our volunteer house right now um, in observatory. We are about 10 minutes away from the city center. So it's a sort of ideal location. We've got two houses that we've bought that are literally next to each other, right? So they're interleading. In each house, we've got uh, five bedrooms. These are dorm style rooms. They sleep between four to eight per room. And each volunteer is allocated a little locker. Then you come through, we've got four showers and four toilets in each house. Then of course, we've got our TV room in each house. Each house has got a separate kitchen. So, you know, cooking facilities, it's fully equipped. So we've got the microwave, fridge, kettle, everything. My name is Ashley Bissell. I'm a volunteer from Dallas, Texas, and I'm volunteering for a childcare program. So if you've never stayed in a hostel before, I definitely recommend it. It brings such a different experience to anywhere you travel. And it's just to be around so many like-minded people has been very magical. And the connections that you build by staying just, just in a hostel, just being present around these people are amazing. So when it comes to meals, uh, we provide breakfast and dinner Monday to Friday. Breakfast is provided by us and it's basically self-service. And then lunch and weekend meals you provide for yourself. And the only reason for that is everybody's got different plans at lunchtime because you finish your project at different times. Dinners are done at a restaurant that we've contracted, uh, basically five minute walk from the house. Um, and every day is a set meal. All our projects are either in the observatory area or in the city center. So um, I'd say probably 90% of our volunteers at the moment use Uber to get to their projects and back. If not Uber, then the projects are in walking distances. I remember starting this childcare program and before I got to the school, I was a little bit intimidated. And what I learned in my typical day here is that when they take you to the classroom, you're actually there more, more as a presence and as a human, as a caregiver. I emphasize this very, a lot in the classrooms that I'm in is, are you happy? Be nice, care for one another, share. So it's just like little values that you can implement. You're teaching young ones and they don't necessarily have this role model around them. And the teacher doesn't necessarily, they do such an amazing job, but they don't have the time for all these kids and to pay attention to the little details that they need you there for. My name is Katya and I'm volunteering in childcare in Cape Town. On a typical day of volunteering, uh, we leave the hostel at 7.30 and the day starts at 8 o'clock. And first we help the teachers prepare breakfast and after that we play with the kids. We can play with blocks or puzzles or, or draw something. And after that we go outside to play at the playground. They usually need help with lunch from 12 to 12.30. It's very simple, we say pass out food, we say a prayer. You line up all the kids and then you take them back to their classroom. We have all the mats lined up for nap time and then that's usually when they dismiss you. The other thing that makes Cape Town so unique is that there's so much to do and so much to see and, and I think the location that we've chosen here is sort of ideal for that sort of thing because again like i said earlier you can drive literally 10 minutes and you're at our iconic type mountain we've got the beaches we've got you know robin island tours we've got so many different things that you can do you go into the city center we've got a lot of these informal markets even if you're here for three months you will never see and do everything that they used to do cape town is unlike any other city that i've been to because it's city nature ocean all in one 
little community here. You could go to a different beach every day. You could uh, hike a different trail every day. It's just endless, all the adventures to be had. One of the best things in Cape Town is that you have so many things to do on your free time. This past weekend we took a three-day road trip and we went kayaking and walking with elephants and the best thing we did was this world's highest bungee jump. My favorite part of the volunteer experience has just been seeing how much of a difference I can make. And what's special in my circumstance is that this is my second time volunteering at the same school with the same kids. It was kind of nerve-wracking because I didn't know if they were actually even going to remember me. In my head there are so many faces and so many volunteers and I'm like, am I just a person in a classroom? Am I just filling this? Face and I'm not and I came to the classroom and the kids remembered me from two years ago after all of these volunteers teacher teacher I remember you teacher do you remember me like what's my what's my name and I'm like of course I remember you like and just knowing that I did make a difference yeah that's been my favorite part the reason why I chose to volunteer instead of just traveling was that I wanted to get to know the local people and their culture instead of just being a tourist. I really feel like I've had an authentic experience in Cape Town while enjoying what the city has to offer.